getting parts for the RX-8 already. Oh, appreciate it, man. Okay, this guy basically sold us the first phase of the RX-8. We got an exhaust, uh, unused radiator, lowering springs, and now he's giving us a quick release. I sold the steering wheel already? Yeah, that's it. That's good. Okay, thanks again, man. Yeah, well, my buddy Steve hooking it up, man. CMD Performance Quick Release. A full Gretti exhaust, which is like $1,200 Canadian retail, and we got it for 400 bucks. And I use radiator, like I said, and then lower springs. <laughs> Bro, give you guys a little look see. We're gonna be able to work on the RX-8 sooner than we thought. What? Doesn't even look like it's been used. Yeah. Mm -mm. Look at that, man. I feel like this wasn't even installed. Maybe for like one season. But it's super clean. These kids are out of hibernation. Oh, and he put on his wheel. Oh, big boy wheels. God damn, looks good. And Mr. Brett got the Evo out, finally. Looks good, man. Team Skittles over here. Oh my god, that looks good. Holy shite, dude. Big boy daddy oh, wheels. Big boy daddy wheels. Oh. oh, look. What? Dude, that's barely even a millimeter, man. I doubt, I'm surprised he doesn't scratch. These are baller wheels, man. Two months, <laughs> pretty much. That's it. Jeez, yeah. Louise. <laughs> it's gonna be a uh, six to eight months. Yeah. That's the main consensus. Okay. We got our cards to play with. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. Don't let it stop you from living your life. Oh, oh what? Oh, the carbon fiber? That's a new part. Yeah. What? I got it when it was uh, when I got hit. So I was just like, whatever. Just Damn, already, bro. You have a big responsibility being the only Evo on the crew, Brett. Yeah. Alright, I uh, gave the XB a quick wash down. Let's bring it inside and we'll throw in the taillights. I'm gonna show you what they look like. Alright, so here is the stock. Uh, with some film over it. <laughs> and here is the new one. Get this bad boy open for me. Ooh. Damn, this is gonna look sick. Unfortunately, the wrap on the back of this XB is like really effed up. And it's because of the winter and me not washing it on a regular basis and really taking care of it. So we're probably gonna have to redo this entire back part because I don't think this. Oh, wait. It's just residue. Maybe we might be able to still clean it. We got two 10 millimeter bolts back here. The top one is kind of hard to get to, but once you got that off, unclip it. Luckily, it's just plug and play. Boom. That's a sweet idea. We were thinking of doing the star headliner thing. Instead of just using black for this thing, I'm gonna try to order the Supreme Louis Vuitton collaboration uh, fabric. So it's gonna be red, but we're still gonna do the uh, Rolls Royce, uh, like super VIP stars, okay? And I came across this like, this dude uh, got a really cheap chandelier off Amazon and fitted it in his Lexus. So uh, I'll give a shout out to this guy. You have a sweet IS, man. And I'm gonna copy your idea too. It's gonna look sick. All right, let's test these lights out. but the turn signals are not connected. I don't think there's even a bulb in there. We gotta transfer it from these. My bad. That should be good. 
nice. That's what they look like. Dude, I'll show you guys the center console. This thing is badass. And this is the thing that I'm gonna get Sunny to help us install. So this is actually super rare JDM piece that we got imported from Japan. And I think it was taken off like one of the first generation BBs. Like, I don't know if this is custom or what, but I've never seen it before. But it looks official. Like it actually has the BB emblem here. And uh, if you press this actually, it's supposed to have two, oh man, go like that. And it actually has two cup holders here. And the reason why they're acrylic, see-through, is because if you look on the back, there's actually wires here for uh, LED lights. If you look at the one that's in there, they are the exact same, other than the drink compartments. This one is just a regular random pocket of randomness. And I'm doing one more sanding down of the front bumper, but now I brought it out into daylight, I can actually see more imperfections. Like, what the hell? Where'd this come from? I have an idea to fix it. But uh, yeah, we'll just keep sanding this down, prep it, and hopefully we can get to wrapping today. Me and Sunny took a quick look at the center console, the, the JDM one, and uh, what we can tell you is that like the guy who uninstalled this from the BB kind of just uh, like ripped it off and cut all the cables. Now what is holding us back is like the actuator, this part. You can't really interchange them from the OEM one. So uh, we're gonna try our best to just transfer this entire console part uh, from the OEM onto this guy and uh, see if that works. Hey, look who it is. Uninvited guests. Sunny was able to take them off. Here's the old one. No, that's actually what you need for under the car too instead of your freaking phone facing up. Under the car, uh, detailing, because sometimes it's dark. So right. We gotta come out with our own KMR headband light thingies. <laughs> Show you guys Sunny's magic. This looks sick. <laughs> what? These fellas are leaving. Everyone's evolving. I love it. Peace. Good luck. Look at this. Don't don't go off it. Okay, peace, man. Bye. Let me hear that exhaust. Aw, look at this thing. What the fuck is this? Like from this side is basically a ramp. Yakuza. Hmm. The cash bar is hitting it. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Every step we take in this garage makes our cars less safe. Hell yeah, it is. Don't lie to the people. No, we take them off, bro. Hey. Right. We're in. The holes line up. So for the XP, we ain't running a front from crash bar, okay? Got Sunny helping me figure out the fog light situation with his Pokédex. Next morning, well, it's not really morning now, it's like afternoon, but we're back at it. Kind of prototyped what the VIP tray is gonna look like in the Sound XP. And our main concern is kind of just having this shelf space still accessible to the passenger. The other thing is, would it be able to hold drinks? And right now, I don't think it would be able to. Yo, Shane just gave me such a sick idea. I can like uh, not run one of the fogs on the driver's side. Because actually, if you look at it, man, this intake is so weird. Like up here, it goes down there, and then this is where the filter is. So if we really wanted, we can not run this light. And then I can figure out this like chicken wire setup. We get some airflow in that area. This is what the Yakuza bumper looks like without the grills or the lights. So right now, before we get started on the front bumper, I'm just prepping it right now, doing the inlays to make it easier. Oh, <laughs> He's my boy. Yo, what up? He my boy, he my boy. 
My pants <laughs> on. <laughs> oh, it licks the camera. <laughs> what? I'm cold. <laughs> Yeah, before I end the video, um, the city announced that my northwest area is gonna be cleaned up tomorrow. And when I mean, go on, what's up, buddy? Can you wait? Be patient, okay? Please. I'm just gonna end the video. And when I say cleaned up, I mean they're actually gonna sweep the streets of gravel. So I think it's time we pick up our Supra. And I saw that uh, Randy actually picked up a Supra too, Randy from Eliminate. So uh, congrats, by the way, that makes us twins. Same name, same cars, somewhat. I think he's getting rid of his FRS though. But I was also catching up on my YouTube vloggers today and I saw this on one of TJ Hunt's latest videos. Yo, what's up? Did you get a Supra or was that a fake photo? No, I got a Supra. <laughs> you actually got one? Yeah. <laughs> if, you're if, if you actually want one, I'll send it out like this week. Do you want to do the wing first and then like do the kit or you just want to cut it right away? Because like Birdie wants one, but he's like, dude, I don't want to cut it right away. So like, that's fine. I want to do everything. I'm talking. I want to start cutting this up. Damn. Dude. Okay, I guess that's my cue, guys. Uh, these kids are making me move faster than I would have, but uh, you know what? It's a little friendly motivation. You guys gotta feed off of the people around your circle and really kind of just empower yourselves by feeding off their successes, you know? And uh, TJ, what are you insinuating, bro? JK, I think we're gonna be test fitting the kit sooner rather than later. So we actually left the garage a little bit early and we had to take off the bumper on the XB, as you can see. So you know how I was kind of saying it had an underbite? It's actually overbite. So uh, towards the bottom, it slants inwards. And uh, when we actually installed all four fogs and put the bumper on the XB, it couldn't fit in all the way because on one side, the driver's side, you were hitting the intake filter. And on the passenger's side, you are actually hitting the windshield washer reservoir. Either I have to modify it to make it a smaller reservoir or just buy a smaller tank. And then for the filter side, I might have to just take off the top fogs and then I'm gonna do my chicken wire idea, so more airflow, you know? Tomorrow, guys, I promise, we're gonna be picking up the Supra. You all deserve super content. And on my social medias, if you are following us on the new Instagrams, I've been posting about the Supra frequently. <laughs> Nothing about it on the YouTube. So yeah, tomorrow's the day. Appreciate you guys for watching the video and we'll see you guys on the next one. See ya. Don't be afraid.